All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at Werner Checker Continued, which was originally made back in the day by forum user Magion, and is now being continued by Linux Guru Gamer, who really seems to be resurrecting a lot of old mods recently, which of course is a wonderful, wonderful thing. Thank you, Linux Guru Gamer, for that. But what this particular mod, of course, is wanting to add into the game is something rather quite wonderful and that is a pre-flight checklist that you can use in either the vehicle assembly building or the space plane hangar and that will update itself automatically checking your ship as you build it to tell you what you are missing and I cannot tell you how much I love this mod as I have sent so many rockets in my time to their doom because I forgot a key component that just slipped my mind now thanks to this checklist hopefully that doesn't happen again as I can see going down the list oh crap I forgot say a parachute which you really really do need so let's jump right on into the vehicle assembly building to show how it works. Now once you do have the Werner Checker installed, it will by default pop up like this whenever you jump into the vehicle assembly building or the space plane hangar. And if at any point you don't want it to show there, either you know you just want to start building your ship first and then check it, or you just don't feel like using the checklist that day, you can turn it off with this little checkbox uh, down here and you can just, you know, toggle that on or off to your heart's content. Now before you start, you do need to select basically what type of thing you are building as this checker relies off of pre-made checklists that are in a config file in the mod folder and by default we have a spaceship checklist an airplane checklist a station che checklist a rover checklist and finally a space plane checklist now you may notice that on the side over there whenever I hover over any of these buttons we are greeted with a lovely little preview of what items are in that particular checklist which is a very useful thing so if you don't remember quite which one is the best for what you're doing you can just hover over it there and it'll show you what it is going to be looking for which is a very very useful tool now of course you may not have a checklist on here that fits your particular need and that's where at the very bottom right there you can see that you can actually create your own checklists in the config file in the mod folder now if you're comfortable working with the config files in Kerbal Space Program it's a pretty easy endeavor to make your own checklist if you're not comfortable with them though it might take you a little while just to get used to it but honestly it's it's pretty straightforward as to how you do create the checklist in that config file so just uh, stare at it for a little while you'll probably get the hang of it which is quite cool but for our purpose today since we are in the VAB we're just gonna go with spaceship as that is the best one for rockets and we are greeted with our beautiful beautiful checklist now let's go over the three columns we have here first so you know what everything is the first is well we'll go over this column all the orange buttons or lights rather that we have over here basically is telling you that right now this part isn't there and then of course that means that for that particular part you need to go to the first column which is the parts that you frankly should have on a basic spaceship so we have everything from control source which is your command pods etc down to science which is a wonderful wonderful thing now it does also include Kerbal inventory system tools by just default it just effectively assumes you always have that installed even if you don't this will still show up there but frankly my friends you should always have Kerbal Inventory System installed because it's just that good of a mod. And then what we have in the middle column is quite an interesting thing because basically, say for instance with uh, reaction wheels, you may want more than one reaction wheel on a large ship. And so what these little cogs in the center column do is it allows you to change the number of these items here. So if you want more than one engine, we can click on this cog and change that from a one to a two so that this ship needs to have two engines to be complete and same with anything from science if we want five scientific experiments we just put it in there it done and we are good to go now I'm of course gonna change these back to one for now oh which I should have mentioned you do have to click done so even if we do change this to five engines and then click another 
and go back, it's going to be back to one. So that is a thing to remember. If you change this, hit done before going out. And that is a wonderful thing that's uh, very useful, especially for things like RCS. You can tell it the exact number of RCS thrusters, how much propellant you want, uh, control sources, how many of those you want, a reaction wheel, etc. Just all of these wonderful things. Now, down towards the bottom of the list, we have in blue here, staging, and that's more of a reminder that you check yourself. These will all turn green once you actually have them. This one, on the other hand, will only light up when you click it. So basically, it's just reminding you to change your staging over here, make sure it's fine. Now, at the very bottom, we have more boosters, which will always stay orange. This mod is never satisfied with how many boosters you put on your rocket. And I think that is a wonderfully Kerbal thing. So <laughs> it's just a fun little thing at the end there. But it's quite nice. Now, uh, what we can do is if we're if we're bored with this checklist or not liking it, or if, say, for instance, you're wanting to launch a space plane on a rocket, you could build the rocket first and then change your uh, checklist here to a space plane that you'll then attach to the outside. And so you can go back and forth. Now, on more options down here, we can uh, do a few interesting things. First being recheck vessel. So if you don't think that one of these is lit up, even though it should be, you can click this and it will recheck it over again to make sure it's all there. Now, the checked area is an interesting one because we have two different options here, either the entire ship or just a selected portion, which if we actually do just load up a ship real quick, the Aero Equus, there we go, perfect. You'll notice a lot of these have gone green now because, well, it does have science on it. It has communication, parachute, engines, reaction wheel, control source, and it assumes the Kerbal Inventory System tools because, well, you should technically have Kerbal Inventory inside that command pod. So it has all those lit up green, but what if, say, for instance, we only want to check the bottom half down here. What we can do is hit selected parts and then actually select the parts in question and it'll tell you right here to just hold left mouse button and highlight all the parts you want to actually check. And it'll show you how many, 19 there, you hit done. And there we go. It's only checking these bottom 19 parts, which you know counts as the engine, apparently Kerbal Inventory System tools, which actually doesn't make sense. That might be a slight bug that probably shouldn't be there. But what we can do if you ever forget what areas are you actually selected, we can highlight them right here, which is quite convenient. Another, th It's another thing that's a very, very useful to have. Like I said earlier, if you're che checking or changing rather back and forth between different checklists to make a rocket, then attach a space plane to it or anything like that, it's very convenient to highlight certain areas. And then if you ever want to show them or not show them, you just use that button right there. It's, it's very convenient, and you also notice over in the staging, it does select them there as well. So if we go to hide and bring them back, you can see that on the right-hand side. It's a useful tool, and you can always switch it back to the entire ship, recheck just to be sure everything's good, and of course can actually go to fewer options if need be. Now, uh, oh, actually I did forget one thing in here in the more options, and that is show settings. We have two things in here. One is prevent clicking th uh, th throt, <laughs> apparently how that's spelled. <laughs> I didn't notice that before. I honestly don't really know what that one does. I, I really don't. But what is important in here is check crew assignment. With this checked and in green, if we go to launch right now, it's gonna ask us, oh, have you actually assigned a crew? And if yes, it'll go to the launch. If no, it'll actually bring up the crew selection, so you can choose whoever you do want for the mission and then go to launch. It's a very, very useful tool that I really do quite enjoy. As uh, Again, I mean, we've even seen it in multiple recent mod videos that I've done where I forgot to load crew into a vessel for a demonstration. And with this checklist, never again would I have that problem. And that's a beautiful, beautiful thing. And it's just great having the ability to actually change all of these things and have 
you know, a visual representation of what all we do need for our particular craft. Now that's in the VAB. I'm just going to jump into the space plane hangar real quick to show you that it works exactly the same in there as well. And, you know, you're just going to want to uh, select, say, airplane. And, well, we've got nothing for an airplane now, but if we make a Mark I cockpit, bam, there we go. We have a control source and the Kerbal Inventory System tools. And, well, of course, we're going to need some other things, so we'll just pop a fuselage on there, which actually isn't in here at all. But an engine, well, that is. We're going to need a very tiny little engine there, but there it goes. It has turned green. Oh, boy, we're going to need a landing gear as well on this, which how many is it wanting us to have? Three landing gear, which, I mean, huh, geez, just asking for so much from us, isn't it? I mean, who needs all three of those, frankly? But <laughs> that's why I do like these. There we go. That lit up. And you'll notice that the landing lights did as well because of the landing gear. Did that? Yeah, that just needed one. There we go. And oh, no, we have no control surfaces. Well, let's just add an Elevon right there. How many is it wanting? Three of those. Oh, you greedy checklist, you. There we go. We now have that lit up. And again, no matter how many boosters you add, it's never enough for this mod, which <laughs> just makes me chuckle every time. But there we go. That's basically how this would work. Now, of course, you'd be building a real plane rather than this god-awful monstrosity, but it's just a useful tool to have that you can go through and, you know, check out other aircraft that you have loaded up to make sure you have what you need for a mission. Like, say, for instance, the space plane. We apparently have no cargo bay on this one, which you could always add, or, of course, if you don't actually need it for that particular mission, well, you're good to go. And it's just, it's just helpful and useful, and I love the addition of the selected parts just because it adds that extra bit of functionality for you which is a wonderful tool so that's really all i have to talk about for this werner checker continued mod not a whole lot else to go through frankly it's a beautiful tool that i'm actually mad at myself that i only just recently learned about it i missed this thing when it first came out entirely and it could have saved so many of my crafts that i've sent into space oh boy oh i've made a lot of kerbals disappear but yes for you guys it could also help you on your your missions as well and you know telling you exactly what you are missing and what you have yet to build and the ability to actually change these things to your heart's content to actually change the number of landing gear or cargo bays that you need is just a useful and wonderful tool so definitely go check this mod out link is in the description as always with these things and uh yeah i hope you all have enjoyed this today and that you do come back for the next episode when we will hopefully be looking at yet another wonderful mod uh, but until that time my friends thank you for watching and as always, have a good one.